The fake news media like CNN, MSDNC, which is sometimes referred to as MSNBC, the Washington Compost, which is sometimes referred to as the Washington Post, and the failing New York Times are doing really, really badly and closing up shop all over the place. CNN is shuttering its longtime headquarters building, and the money-losing Washington Post is being peddled all over to see whether or not somebody wants to buy it. In the meantime, they're firing massive numbers of people. Not reporting with credibility has its consequences. The future of the fake news looks bleak, and that's a positive thing. But beware the Marxists and Communists, which are well represented in our government. Many of them got there by fake news, so we have to stop it. We have to get back to normal. Thank you. I recently read an interesting headline in the paper that said, quote, the Washington Compost, which is the Washington Post, hit with Biden-era layoffs as subscriptions plummet, end of quote. If they'd cover the news fairly, accurately, with a passion for our country, this wouldn't be happening to The Washington Post. People don't want fake news. Thank you very much. After many years, CNN is closing their Atlanta headquarters. It's very simple. No ratings equal no money. They got no money because they have no ratings. That's what fake news gets you. People are wise to it. Likewise, speaking of fake news, MSDNC, sometimes referred to as MSNBC, is in very big ratings trouble. And be careful, Fox News. Don't go that way. They've got failed politician Paul Ryan and Rhino Karl Rove, a total loser, running things. Please be careful, Fox News. The fake news says I'm not campaigning very hard. I say they are stupid and corrupt because the election's a long ways away, almost two years. The beauty is two years is not so long anymore when you think of four. Too bad it couldn't have happened a lot sooner, isn't it? But do not fear. Many giant rallies and other events are coming up very soon. It will all be wild and exciting. We're going to bring our country back. We will save our country from doom and make America great again. And you are going to be the biggest part of it. Thank you very much.